got, hey guys, Lego Channel 62, and today I'm making a video showing you guys some of the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure series. I expect to see in the collectible minifigure series too. So, I've chosen these carefully, and I'll explain to you why I chose them at the end. So, if you want to see why I chose them, and if you want to choose some of your own characters based on what I choose, stay tuned to the end after I list them all. So, let's start to list them. We first up have some normal villains, which are Killer Moth, Gentleman Ghost, Clock King, Crazy Quilt, Hugo Strange, and Dr. Phosphorus. Next are some uber villains, who are a skeleton from the Skeleton Army, a gremlin, we can also get the Agent Smith, or one of them at least, and finally, General Zod. Next we get some bat suits, such as the Firestarter, the Swat Bat, the Winged Avenger, the Easter Bat, the Arctic Bat, and the Lady Bat Batgirl suit. And finally, get some other characters. We get 1960s suit Alfred, Pilot Joker, Jeff, and Black Vulcan. So these are some characters I chose carefully, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So the reasons why I chose these guys were fairly simple, actually. We'll start with the regular villain. I chose these villains because they were the only ones left. So we've got the rest of them in the sets before, and since we got 10 in the last or nine, I'm pretty sure. The last couple of minifigure series, I want to get as much as possible, but there's only six, which obviously, as you saw, were Killer Moth, Gentleman Ghost, Clock King, Crazy Quilt, Hugo Strange, and Dr. Fox first. So, anyways, the uber villains. I want to choose some uber villains we've never gotten a set before. Even sets that weren't related to the Lego Batman movie, and that were also minifigures, because it's a collectible minifigure series, not collectible uh, other figure series. So, the characters that I chose were the characters that you saw before, which were gremlin, a gremlin that wasn't striped, because I'm really excited for that. I hope for that, because fans could get more and more of that so they, they can make their own gremlins films with not only Skype and Gizmo, but more gremlins, and some Lego Batman movie stuff. And a skeleton from the Skeleton Army, because we finally get that Lego Ninjago body piece except without a kind of belt around the waist because we always got one with one of those skeletons with a belt around the waist but now it's just plain white and I think that's pretty cool plus it's in sort of different face print and that's not as important but still pretty cool but different and then Agent Smith because we've not ever got anything like Agent Smith before so I would really hope for that and lastly General Zod because we haven't got General Zod from the Lego Batman movie before. We have gotten him in other sets for DC Comics, but he's not the same minifigure, so that's why I was hoping for him. And I didn't pick characters like Gilman, Count Dracula, or The Mummy, or some other characters that we've got in recent franchises, is because, well, they've already been in franchises, so why put them in another one? And not even to mention the Count Dracula and The Mummy, plus Medusa and... Um, sort of the Wicked Witch have already been in a classic moment in many figure series. So, I guess that, well, what's the point? And for the bat suits, there was really no way I could think about um, what bat suits to use. So, I kind of went with an elemental theme. And I chose Firestarter for fire. And the Swap Bat was just an extra one. The Winged Avenger, kind of like flight or air sort of thing. And I know a lot of fans would really want that. And... Some other ones that I chose for elements were the St. Patrick's, kind of like for luck and green power, something like that. And then for the Arctic Bat, it was kind of like an ice power, kind of reference to like in the movie. All those themes are not really themes, but uh, powers and uh, elements, but yeah. And that's how I chose them. And the Swap Bat was just an extra that I wanted to add five since we got five last time. And it kind of goes back to a reference how Batman slash Bruce Wayne is a detective. So I just wanted those bat suits because I thought those would be really cool for me and for other fans too. And I wanted the Lady Bat bat suit because I thought that it would be really cool if we got that bat cape piece instead of getting in black and yellow and some other colors. I think we got um brown for Catman, but we actually get it in purple if we get, do get Lady Bat. So that would be pretty cool, or Batley, and I'm kind of confused. Um, and we also get that Batgirl cowl in pink. We haven't got that in pink before, so I'd be really excited for that. Well, I'm pretty sure we haven't yet, but no, we haven't. And so that would be pretty cool. I'd like that. 
And, yeah, so this would be pretty cool. We even get that purple belt we got in Catwoman. And, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I thought that would be really cool to include. Next, I wanted to include 1960s Alfred, because we didn't get Alfred in the earlier collectible minifigure series. So I thought that would be a pretty cool thing to add. Plus, um, people who can't afford the 1966 Batcave, because it's like $400 or something, and I, I can't even get it right now. And cause, so I thought it would be really cool if we even just got that as a character in like a Bat movie collectible minifigure series. And then Jeff, he was kind of the main part of the movie because without his hand, the villains never would have got their plan. Batman would have never had to stop them in GE. So I thought he was a big enough part in the movie to include in the second Mini Figure series. And lastly, Jeff, or sorry, not Jeff, I just said him, Black Vulcan. Because I thought, what other character could I include than a Justice Leaguer? So I looked at the Justice League, and the characters we haven't gotten a set before were Hot Girl, Black Canary, Samurai, El Dorado, which we are going to actually get, get, Green, this version of Green Lantern, actually, no, we have gotten, sorry, um, Samurai, Zan, Zena, Bleak, Wonder Dog, and Green Arrow, Cyborg, and Black Vulcan, and these are these versions, so the only characters I actually considered was Zan and Zena, because the other characters were pretty easy to create with your own other pieces, and, yeah, so, that's why I chose um, Black Vulcan. I thought he was a really good character, although Zan and Jaina were both characters that were really close to becoming in this list. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. And yeah, so definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this video. Um, did you like what I chose? And if you have your own thoughts, maybe you could tell me in the comment section down below. Or maybe if you thought Zan or, <laughs> Zan or Jaina, I think that's what the, the names are, I'm not sure, kind of getting confused right now, but um, if you thought one of those would have been better, better than Black Vulcan, tell me in the comment section down below, and I will be making a video soon, if you saw the Max Movies channel that we sometimes work with, he made this video, well actually three part of the video, showing you guys what we thought would be some cool potential for Fluid sets. So I will also be making a video for that, and when I do, I will post a link in the comments, and I'll post a link in the description to that in this, and I'll post a link to his video in my other video. So with that being said, hope you guys liked this video, and yeah, so comment down below what you think of this classical minifigure series, and if you have your own version, definitely let me know in the comment section down below, but see you guys later on LEGO Channel 62.